Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're doing Stone Die Hard Fan IPA. It's got a little story on it. It says dedicated to the Die Hards. Die Hards, it's uh, basically saying uh, it's, it's a really great West Coast IPA. So there's a story on it if you want to read it. Snapshot, go ahead and try that. Yes, it is I, David. I know I'm looking a little different now. Trim. I don't know why he's Trimmed doing up. it. He cut the grass yesterday. Let me see. Know. Die Hard I Fan. Die Hard Fan. IPA with Mosaic Hop. 7.7. Pretty uh, close to a double. Yeah, it is, I guess. Yeah. It is an extra IPA. Um, IPAs chose them. It says, people in that category will tell you they didn't choose IPAs. IPAs chose them. All they need to hear are the words IPA and stone in the same sentence to pump their fists and say, all right, okay. Right. It's it's a big storyline. <laughs> Hell, we all know Stone makes pretty good beers. I am a fan. You want me to open it? Sure. I don't know where he... Oh, he might be going to cut the yard over there. You uh, notice where they used to have that house and they moved it? Yeah, I saw that. So... I thought it was missing when I came around the corner. Yeah. It's, it's like, going. oh, there's steps there, but no house. Or maybe it floated away in a flood. No, something. he's going to cut it. That's, that's what's going on. Well, as long as he's down the street on the corner and not right here with all that loud noise. Because I always run into power equipment noise around here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. The color is, wow, golden. Golden gold. Like a dark. And it's, well, we're overcast, so it might be lighter yeah, it's, in the sun. It's straight up gold. It would be lighter maybe in the yeah. sun. It looks really good. Um, a lot of bubbles. I mean, a lot of foam, I meant to say. And... Yeah. Sorry, I meant to say foam. I see some uh, lazy bubbles. Uh, I'm, I'm getting clear all the way through, which is great. Which is the way that I personally prefer an IPA. Yeah. I've been hearing some all of chatter beers. on the internet from people. Well, Saying they've gotten past uh, other type of thing. All right. Well, hey, and if you like the wheats, go ahead and drink the wheats. It's the same stuff that's going to clog you up. Well, it depends on the person. This smells pungent. I get a lot of hop resin. Those mosaic hops have that kind of unique, what do they call it, like an oily nose or something? Yeah. I just I just took a sip of it. Okay, I'll take a sip. So it smells yeah. nice, oily hop resin. It is oily tasting going down. Man, it's it's got a bitter punch. It's like, oh. It's uh, but it's, it's pretty good. I wonder what the IBUs are. I'm going to have to look that up because you, ju you just came over. I didn't know what you had. I'm thinking probably about seven, 70, 60. At least oh, 60. I, at least in the 70s range. I don't you know. Think? We'd have to look it up. I'm going to guess. See. I'm going to take a guess. Uh, it's got a long shelf life on it. It's got a born on date, which, yeah, I know. It's somebody else's words. Of, uh, Let's see. The January the 3rd. Mm -hmm. Nice. And it says that it's fresh until... May second, May second. So. Enjoy by it. So that's that's yeah, reliable. Yeah, so it's giving it roughly 150 days, roughly. I think on the sweetness scale, this is probably four out of five sugar cubes. This is a sweet beer. If you don't like sweet beers, but it's not like corn syrup sweetness. It's just sweet from the 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 malts. And um, on the bitterness scale, it's probably five out of five hop cones <laughs> on oh, the cyclops bitter. scale. Yeah. I guess that's why they call now, it the. Die Hard Fan IPA. Yeah, this came out of a um, out of a variety pack. I initially was just going to pick up the the old Green Label Stone, which I just wanted to get a six pack of it. And then the price difference between that and a twelve pack was the twelve pack was cheaper. You got more beer, and there was four different beers in there. So I said, "Well, let me go ahead and try it." And uh, it did say that this is the new beer. Yeah, high so, medium mouthfeel, um, a drying it burns finish. Burns a little bit. Burns a drying finish. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like a, like a. Okay, drying finish. Um, like a Tabasco effect or something. I, I'm gonna say I really think that the IBUs on this, and this is a guess. I've done no research on this beer. I never heard of it until you came over here. But I think it's about 60, 60 IBUs in a 7.7. .7 percent alcohol beer and I think that's probably right but I don't know until I check I think it's higher yeah he's over there at Abadies. okay 
I think it's a little higher than that. Well, I time will tell. It up close to seventy. Time will tell when, when I check. It's bitter, bitter. Time, yeah, it is bitter, but it's not harshly bitter or anything. It's mildly right. bitter. Time will tell when I check the um, specs on it. Um, it. Tastes pretty good. I'm gonna give it a 94 out of 100. A solid A. Well, the honey beans are I'm getting going, very excited about these flowers. See, there's yeah. one and there's one. Good to see the bees are back. Yeah, um, there for a while we were having a shortage on them for some reason. Yeah, they're, uh, they'll be out here. Are those the Russian bees or is... I don't know. I don't know, they not, some, I don't know anything about... all the bees in from somewhere else. Um, I don't know anything about zoology. Okay. I'm going to give it a 96. Just because I think it's it's really classic flavor. The only thing, the only downside about it... Slight downside is the oiliness effect I'm getting. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. Uh, the bitterness is good. I like the fact that it's clear. Like all my beers clear, unless you're a classic. Half of ice. Yeah, a half of ice, which we so, don't normally drink does too often. So, an average of a 95, that's a good score. And their beers are not super expensive. Walmart's got no. Stone IPA for like $8.99. Really? That's a real good price. Uh, you know what? That's not at this local one. I'm I'm thinking of a different store. You know which one? They have Goose Island for eight ninety nine. So I've seen Goose Island for seven ninety nine. Oh no, I did yeah. too years ago. Okay. Uh, just the other day when I picked these up. They're at your Rouse's on Canal Street. No, on uh, Carrollton. Hmm. So there you go. An A beer. Oh, the bitter kicks in right at the end of the set. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's kind of sweet. Were you expected to be sweet on the tip of your tongue? And then it goes down, it's bitter. And then it kind of punches a bit. Yeah. Right. All right, so laissez les bon temps relay. We're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. And drink better beers. <laughs>